All right. In the last two videos, we created and tested this YouTube downloader class. In the constructor, we created our WT or YouTube object by invoking this YouTube class from PyTube and sending a link through it. Did some validation and also created a, an OpenAI client using this OpenAI class and then used them in the methods like here where we downloaded the audio from the YouTube link, renamed the file and saved it locally right here. And then we used that audio file and used Whisper to translate and create transcripts and save them again in locally here. This time, we'll build a summarize function, which will take that text file and summarize it for us. And we pass the uh, transcript file name as an argument. Let's bring in the code. All right, so this is our method, the last one, summarize. As we saw before, we're bringing in the transcript file name, basically that we just generated here. So as soon as this comes in, we just check for it, whether the file is present or not. Once the file is present, then we just read it up, put it in a transcript, and this is where the first prompt engineering begins. We create our system prompt, basically give it a personality according to what text we're sending it to. Since this is going to be a global news you know, article we're sending, uh, or text we're sending, so we're giving it a personality of a brilliant global news expert. And here's the user prompt. Create a summary of the following text. And here we're going to send this summary transcript. And this is the variable. This is where the uh, text belongs, where it's going to read up the file to this guy right here. Then we give it some more instruction, add a little to the summary. And then here we just uh, emphasize the main points in uppercase, like it's going to have an introduction paragraph and then followed by some bullet points. and a nice little conclusion phrase as a you know conclusion of the uh, summary then right here we actually create our summary response by using client.chat.completion.create and as a model we send gpd 3.5 turbo and here is the messages list inside this list we're sending our system content as system prompt that we created right here and as user content, a user prompt, this guy right here. And here we're giving a temperature of one, a little bit at the higher end, because this is a, a you know, a little bit of a creative effort. So we're giving it some creative leeway to it. And then we're just sending the response. Now let's go test it out. Oh, before we do, let's run this to update our class. And here at the step one in the in the previous videos, we went ahead and used this French news link and took it in and converted that into audio file. And this is our audio file and located right here. And then in second step, we took that audio file and we transcribed it using this method, transcribe audio file, and use Whisper as a model. And we can run it again just to see since this is a non-English, and we're passing it as a true value. So this block took over, and it's going to generate an English version of that news transcript. And this is our file name, the .txt. It is also right here. Now we're going to go ahead and take this file and send it to our summarize method that we just created, and get the answer to our summary object. Let's print out the summary object. Let's see what it does. Starting summarizing. And here's our object. So from this, we can see that we have choices item. And then inside that, we have message. And inside the message, we have our content. And that's where our summary lies. So we're just going to go ahead and break it down. Dig down to our actual message content. And let's replace it with summary. All right, so let's run it again. And there you go. We have our summary, and it gave us uh, introduction. In fact, uh, let's do regular print because 
since this is smaller it might look better at that format let's do it again and yes now it's looking better we have our introduction we have our key bullet points and conclusion exactly what we asked for and with that we finish our series of creating a multimodal bot in which we used a youtube downloader got the audio and had whisper model transcribe and translate it and generated transcript and then we took gpt 3.5 turbo to summarize it and we used a little prompt engineering to get the format exactly the way we want it.